Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to our new Facebook friends from Ithaca, Rochester, and Minnesota, checking in back home every week. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. We're back in East Utica this week, one of my favorite places. And as always, there is something new here, yet something very traditional. And as always, much of it is family oriented and much of it is about food. So stay tuned to find out more. This Saturday, love is in the air. Owls. Midwinter is when owl activity picks up. Learn about their calls, make crafts, and play games. This Saturday from 10 to noon at the Rogers Environmental Center, Highway 80 in Sherburne. It's time for the Skinner and Demulis road trip. We stop into Richfield Springs where they have a full line of Jeeps, powerful Rams, and Ford trucks ready to take on any challenge. We always hear that people enjoy our tours of East Utica. And no matter how many times we visit, there's always something new to discover. New people with new customs, complementing the steadfast traditions of the Italians, who made East Utica their home in the late 1800s. St. Valentine's Day this week means St. Joseph's Day is just around the corner. And both these saints mean busy days for Cafe Caruso. They're stocking up on their almond cookies to make way for the long-anticipated Sfingy and Zeppoli made only this time of year. Today they're making almond paste cookies, which, you know, we do those every day. This happens to be just one pushed out of a pastry bag. And we're going to be starting our St. Joseph pastries, which is our big, everybody's just been asking, and when are we going to start? So we're going to start them. We're going to start them soon, and we will be making them straight through until March 19th, which is St. Joseph's Day, which is on a Tuesday, which we're normally closed, but we'll be opened on Tuesday oh, because you. that, yes, <laughs> but it's a big, busy day for us, so we're, we're, it's no problem. We enjoy it, and it's a, it's a big day for people to pick them up, to bring them to work, and so we're good. I have been coming to Caruso's for more than 50 years. Now, this week begins Lent on Wednesday. If there's one thing that you shouldn't give up during Lent, uh, it's Italian pastries. That's off the list. Do not give them up. Swearing. Give up something like that. Give up swearing, that's good. But the, the pastries, keep them going. When the weekend comes, head on. Just a walk around the corner from Caruso's Cafe is Giuseppe's Bakery on Mohawk Street. This place is no secret. There's a constant stream of customers coming in for their daily loaf of fresh Italian bread, baked every morning by Carmen, carrying on his parents' tradition. Well, my dad came from Italy, my parents did, back in 61. Um, he was a mason by trade from Italy. Uh, in 83 area, um, times area were tough in masonry, so he decided to look for a different opportunity. Uh, and he found this smaller bakery that he decided to venture into. Uh, him and my mom, my mom was actually an employee at Joseph Feist back then. They both decided uh, to jump in, uh, head over heels in full strength into this business and uh, go forward with it. So um, we're very fortunate and happy they did so. Here at Giuseppe's, there are nine different flavors of pastis, known in Italian as pasta chot, correct? And aside from that, the bread here, well, I have to admit that one of my favorite places to eat is Altieri's in Clinton, and the bread there is out of this world. Where does it come from? Right here, Giuseppe's. Look for Giuseppe's Italian and French bread at nearby grocery stores, or fresh out of the oven every Tuesday through Sunday, 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Around the corner from Giuseppe's Bakery is another local landmark, Maugeri's Auto Repair. It was opened as a gas station in 1928 by Thomas Maugeri. His boys became interested in race cars and auto repair. And by the time his son Vincent bought the business in 1952, it was a full service repair shop. 
84-year-old Vincent is still the first one to arrive every morning, turning on the lights and starting the coffee. The business is now owned by his two sons, Tom and Mike, who are carrying on the family tradition. We head down Bleecker Street to check out the new Centro Transit Hub that just opened earlier this week. And we stop into Off Center Records to say hi to one of Mohawk Valley Living's featured musicians, John Keller. For 20 years, his shop has catered to music lovers. It is the only indie record shop in Utica, carrying new and vintage vinyl and turntables. I want to hang with a dangerous crowd. Stay tuned for more from East Utica after the break. Watch Mohawk Valley Living on Fox WFXV every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11 o'clock p.m., followed by an encore. And now also available on WUTR every Sunday morning at 11.30 a.m. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Drive the exciting new Dodge Dart for only $149 a month with a new 24-month lease. $29.99 cash or trade due at signing. Drive away in this exciting new technologically advanced compact sedan at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. Get your sled out on the trails. Call Turnbull Insurance and have a snow adventure tomorrow with complete snowmobile insurance protecting you and your sled. Call 735-9201 and get out on the trails. Experience the fascinating dance music theater of the award-winning City Company at the Welland Hall Schombach Center for Music and the Performing Arts at Hamilton College, Saturday, February 16th at 8 p.m. Tickets available through the box office and an hour and a half prior to performances. You keep saying you're going to do something about your back and joint pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone, one of the area's only K-Laser Therapy chiropractors, the most advanced non-invasive treatment of acute and chronic pain. Call 853-6225 and embark on your wellness journey today. Save up to 50% during the winter clearance at the Village Crossing and check out the transitional fashions arriving daily at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Savor homemade soups, sandwiches, quiches, and salads at the dessert booth in Clinton. And check out their fresh new look. Serving lunch Tuesday through Saturday and dinner Friday nights. See their menu on Facebook and save room for dessert. Shop Tom's Natural Foods and feel good with over 150 herbs and spices and a full line of dietary supplements. Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton. Naturally. February is Winter Madness Month at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. Get out of the house and explore the ever-changing selection of antiques and the most unique collection of items from dozens of artisans and shopkeepers. Choose from a great selection of chocolate and candies and an exciting array of diamond, gold, silver, and fine jewelry. Also check out the brand new pet department for cats, dogs, and birds. It's Winter Madness Month at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West at Canal Place in Little Falls. Special thanks to Turnbull Insurance Service and Mark and Jim Turnbull. Their continued support makes the show possible. If you drive down Conkling Avenue on a sunny blue sky day like today, you can't miss the gleaming onion domes of St. John of Kronstadt Russian Orthodox Memorial Church. The church has been the spiritual home for more than three generations of Orthodox Christians, many descendants of the first Russian emigres who came to Utica from Germany in 1948. This church is dedicated to the memory of St. John of Kronstadt a very popular saint, not only abroad but in throughout Russia. Great intercessor, uh, spiritual father for the Russian land and for a lot of the Orthodox world. A lot of the Russian immigrants came after, you know, from Russia, Belarus, some from Ukraine, who were, came here in the late 40s. At first they would attend St. George's uh, uh, Antiochian Orthodox Church, which is now located on Higby Road in New Hartford. 
once you had something like 400 people gathered, they realized they needed their own church. And so they purchased this location. The cornerstone that was in the corner of the building was laid by the uh, late abbot, Archbishop Vitali Maximenko, Holy Trinity Monastery in 1953. And that's when this edifice was built. Well, if you look at the Greek churches, they're sort of like, you know, uh, semi hemi semispheres. The cupolas in Russia, of course, were designed to keep off the snow. Because if you have a heavy snowfall, your roof will collapse. So they were sort of designed. There are probably other significances to it, but they're always topped by a cross. We head to the far end of Lansing Street to the ever-expanding Kutrup Produce. This third-generation business delivers fresh produce north as far as Blue Mountain Lake and down past Binghamton. Well, my grandfather started it years ago, and my father just put all his heart and soul into it. And I follow with him, and I try to do as he does, and we just keep going every day. We don't stop. We're from a little bit past Blue Mountain, a little bit past Binghamton. Um, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, onions, carrots, cabbage, celery, just doesn't stop all all kinds of fruits also we we carry over hundreds of items pineapple apples oranges bananas it just doesn't stop and um we sell to restaurants stores jails institutions anything that uses fruits and vegetables we're there corner stores we'll even deliver to your home if you guys need anything not only do i work with my family and we're so close we have such a close-knit family but not only do I have to do it as good as my dad, but I have to listen to him. And I'm not only an employee, I'm also a son. So I have to do whatever it is, I just do it. Do you know what potatoes, onions, tomatoes, and bananas all have in common? They like the same temperature, and that is 55 degrees. So it's always 55 degrees in here. With Valentine's Day later this week, we decide to head over to Corielli Flowers on Mohawk Street. It's been a part of East Utica since Dominic Corielli opened his flower shop on Bleecker Street back in 1933. His daughter Carmel continued the business and still comes to work every day. He worked, had his own greenhouses on uh, York Street. Then the Depression, 1929, they lost the greenhouses. He and his brother, they were in business. He and his brother lost it during the Depression. So they split up and he went into the re retail business. From the wholesale growing, he went into retail. So when he went into retail, the two brothers split up. So my father started his business, Coriel Flowers, at 707 Bleecker Street. And that was in 1933. And you grew up in this business? I grew up in it. And so you always knew you were going to do this? I did nothing else but. I never took the other part of my Social Security card off. Would you believe it? <laughs> really, I didn't. And um, so how many years did you run the business? Up until now. Well, I'm still here, but 2006, he took over. And who is that? Tino. And who is Tino to you? Tino. He's just a very loyal, dedicated employee at that time. Uh -huh. Now I made him owner. Wow, nice. Mm -hmm. So you work together. And now you've been in this business your whole life. What keeps well, you coming to work? Why do you keep doing this? What else am I going to do? I have nothing else to do. No children, no husband. So here I am, Volunteer of the Year. <laughs> All the stones we carry, they remain. All the stars are falling from the sky. It's so nice, Molly, lying there by your side.
For lunch, we head out to get some of our favorite calamari in East Utica. And where do we get that Italian specialty? At the Lotus Garden Cambodian restaurant, of course. They've recently moved from Bleecker to a bigger space behind the Stanley Theater on King Street. Their customers have followed for their authentic Asian cuisine and their ever popular sushi. Oh, we love it. It's, it's bigger. It's, we have more room to accommodate now. Whereas before, we, we all, on, on a busy night, we always, we always hated because we couldn't accommodate people fast enough. Everything else is the same. The menu is still, well, I can't say the menu is the same. We've changed the menu a little bit, adding a few more stuff to it. So, uh, but you can still get an array of dishes ranging from Cambodia, Thai, all the way to Japanese, Chinese, and v Vietnamese, so. Now, everybody talks about your calamari, and you got a lot of Italians coming here for the calamari. What is, what's the deal with that? What's the secret to it? The, the secret of the calamari is, is that we make them, we make them fresh. So. It's, it's all hand cut, and you know when it's when it's ready for an order, we freshly batter it and deep fry it. But what makes it even better is the sauce that goes on top of the calamari. So that's the real secret. <laughs> that's a real secret, <laughs> and I, and I believe me, a lot of people are trying to get me to divulge the you know the information about how that sauce is 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 made. We can't get it. We can't give it away. <laughs> If you like fish as I do, do not pass up the sweet and sour tilapia. Then they also have something which is our equivalent of a fish fry. And what's it called? It's called chuchi. Chuchi. Try the chuchi too. No matter what you have here, you're going to go away very, very happy. If you have not ever tried sushi, or for that matter, if you have, come here tonight because between 5 and 8, they will be offering a wide variety of sushi, all for $20. Sam invites you to check out the Lotus Garden's new space at their sushi tasting and happy hour tonight. You can sample their popular rolls and learn about the different sushis. The cost is $20 and there are happy hour prices on all the drinks. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Oscar's Picture Framing offers hand-finished molding and restoration of antique frames, restoring history for the past 42 years. Oscar's Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Santa didn't bring you that new kitchen you wanted? Call Jim Kiefer and he can make it happen. He'll work with you to create your dream kitchen, bedroom, or furniture. And he's also the area's exclusive Old Hickory dealer. Call Shelter, 369-5014. Have a tropical adventure and walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, tropical birds, plants, lizards, and frogs at the Pop Butterfly Conservatory. Your Valentine is free when you bring them on Valentine's Day this Thursday. Open seven days a week on Route 7 in Oneonta. Milan's Meat Market is your meat headquarters, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and store-made kielbasa. Every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Milan himself. You'll find everything from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Milan's Meat Market in Clark Mills. Shop the fun and frugal Newport Marketplace. Over 40 vendors of treasures, antiques, unique gifts, Amish baskets, and new and handcrafted items. Visit this Saturday, February 9th during the 10% off sales event at the Newport Marketplace, open seven days a week on Main Street in Newport. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? And you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital. Quality care for your cats and kittens. We think Richard is due for a haircut. Maybe something hip and new at the Dominican Barber Shop. <laughs> Right. 
everything was going well until he heard the clippers. Julia Margaret, dress me up in red. I want to be a woman in a picture. Hey, Julia, how I love your name. I want to be a woman in your frame. Catherine Houghton with the starlight smile. We skip over to Broad Street to Rigall. This crane, forklift, and rigging service specializes in machinery relocation. They have worked at various hydro plants, factory relocation, and windmill projects in seven states. Rigall has been here on Broad Street since 1963. And if you travel around, take for example, the windmills down in Waterville, is it? That area? They were made possible because of cranes from here. The chandelier at the Stanley, now, I thought they did it from the inside, but that wasn't how it happened. They went from the outside through a hole and in to make it possible to hang the chandelier. And one more interesting fact, the tigers at the Utica Zoo, when it came time to move them, and they're very heavy, it was done with cranes from here. Business must be good because all of the cranes are out in various sites around New York State. As a bit of trivia, I asked them here what the highest reach of one of these would be, and they told me it's... 343 feet. Wow. That's high. <laughs> I came rolling down the hill Down into the Mohawk Valley Train pulled into Union Station One passenger was I who chose to stay Back on Bleecker, we visit a community landmark, Garrow's Drug Store. There has been a pharmacy on this corner serving customers as long as most people can remember. When you come in here, you can pick up your own medicines for your children or yourself, and you can also pick up medicine for your dog, Fido, let's say. And his medicines can be flavored with beef or liver. If you're bringing in a cat, they'll flavor that with chicken or tuna. And uh, one of the most unusual ones recently was somebody who came in and asked for their medication for their cat to be flavored with Vietnamese fish sauce. One of the landmarks here on Bleecker Street is Central Fire Station. Central Fire Station has been around since 1911, but for me it carries a special significance because my dad worked at Central Fire Station when it was a block or two from here on Elizabeth Street. It's really quite a place. You should come take a ride down here just to take a look at what's going on. <laughs> October is National Fire Prevention Month. Contact your local fire department to learn more about making your home safer from fire, and you can help firemen save lives. At the other end of Bleecker Street, scientists are working to save lives as well at the Masonic Medical Research Laboratories. This world-renowned laboratory is becoming an international center for genetic screening of cardiac diseases. Last month, they announced a breakthrough that could someday treat heart arrhythmias. This laboratory studies cardiac arrhythmias, abnormal rhythms of the heart. So we're interested in understanding what causes cardiac arrhythmias and how to treat them and ultimately how to cure them. Well, the experiments involve looking at the genetic basis for diseases that affect the electrical function of the heart, that cause abnormal rhythms of the heart, that cause people to die suddenly, that cause sudden infant death syndrome, that cause atrial fibrillation. We study the effect of drugs on the electrical function of the heart, and we look to find drugs that stop the arrhythmias from occurring. We've recently inaugurated Stem Cell Center where we take cells from the skin, these are fibroblasts, and convert them into what are called induced pluripotent stem cells, and those are then converted into heart cells. Wow. 
So that's now, a pretty, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, this is very exciting. We use the heart cells for safety pharmacology to test how drugs will affect the heart. We use them for regenerative therapy to introduce them into damaged or failing hearts. And we use them to better understand the mechanisms of disease. Our goals are to be able to better diagnose heart disease, to better treat heart disease, and ultimately to find the cures for many of these heart disease problems. To learn more about the research being done at the Masonic Medical Research Laboratories and their recent exciting breakthroughs, visit mmrl.edu or call to schedule a tour. Call 735-2217. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Drive the exciting new Dodge Dart for only $149 a month with a new 24-month lease. $29.99 cash or trade due at signing. Drive away in this exciting new technologically advanced compact sedan at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. Tour the exhibits at the Oneida Community Mansion House. On display, the beautiful braidings of Jesse Catherine Kinsley and the exhibit, Wartime at Oneida Limited. And visit the new museum store, open daily year-round on Kenwood Avenue in Oneida. Oscar's Picture Framing offers hand-finished molding and restoration of antique frames, restoring history for the past 42 years. Oscar's Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Maureen's back from the gift show and excited to share her prizes with you. New items are arriving daily like Innis Perfume and Cologne, capturing the natural energy and strength of the Emerald Isle. Visit Cobbler & Company in historic downtown Sharon Springs. Shop Clinton Wine & Spirits, a small town wine shop with a world of wine. An excellent variety of Cabernet, Merlot, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Grigio from around New York and around the world. All at Clinton Wine & Spirits, Hannaford Plaza in Clinton. Expecting the guys for football? Don't fret, just call Deansboro Superette. They've got delicious Middle Eastern platters and their famous four-foot Mega Monster sub. Call 841-4377. Beef burgers and sandwiches served with homemade potato chips. Or enjoy a dinner special with a beer, draft, or wine at Cosmos Cafe, Hannaford Plaza in Clinton. Get your sled out on the trails. Call Turnbull Insurance and have a snow adventure tomorrow with complete snowmobile insurance protecting you and your sled. Call 735-9201 and get out on the trails. I can't stand it when you're not around. I don't know quite what to do with myself. So if you have to leave me tonight. We hope that you enjoyed our tour this week of East Utica. I know that I did. Should you be coming down yourself, you may want to come here at 9 o'clock this morning to St. John Kronstadt's Russian Church and attend this, it has to be, a beautiful, beautiful service and to see the inside of this incredible church. Next week we are traveling somewhere, I'm not sure where. Between now and then, enjoy Mohawk Valley Living. Honey, honey.